Hey, before we really get started, I want to give you a little demonstration of why I uh, prefer to use Corona Project Manager or uh, its successor, Outlaw, for doing uh, Corona SDK programming. One of the big reasons is because it allows you to uh, swap files back and forth. And what I mean by that is uh, here you can see I have a, in this project, I have a main.lua. And every Corona SDK program has to have a file called main.lua. Now that means if I want to try something else out, I have to uh, go on to disk and rename this file and then rename another file as main.lua and then do that back and so there's a lot of file shuffling one of the one of the first things i put into cpm or outlaw is the ability to create aliases and to make multiple main.lua files so i've got main.lua here but i also have this file here called listener sample.lua and you can see it's unchecked right now uh, i'm going to open up the properties pane over here and you can see that listener sample has an alias of main.lua. That means if I launch this project, Outlaw is going to look at that. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to look at all of the files, see if there's an alias. And if there is, it'll make a copy of that using the alias. That means that if I want to run listener sample instead of main.lua, I can uncheck main.lua, check listener sample, hit my launch button, and it automatically runs. And if I want to switch back, I can uncheck that, check the regular main.lua, hit launch, and it launches the new one. So it just makes it really easy to try different things out uh, with this alias feature. So if you haven't tried a CPM or Outlaw, uh, get, give it a shot. This is one of the things that can really save you a lot of time. Uh, and this works even in the free version. There's a, a free trial version uh, that you can use. And so uh, if you want to use something else uh, for, for these lessons, that's that's perfectly fine. It'll, it'll all work. I don't use anything that's specific to CPM or Outlaw uh, in the lessons. But there are a lot of shortcuts like this uh, that can save you a lot of time in your development.